All right, this is gonna be uh, kind of like a sweep submission combination. Um, it's gonna be the ankle lock from single leg X, but also it serves as a really good counter uh, when the person is trying to backstep your single leg X. Okay, so let's get into it. So they're standing. I'm playing my single leg X. And one of the most common ways that he's gonna defeat the position other than driving his knee down is to clear this foot off the hip and leave me exposed for the back step. Okay, so the way we're gonna defend this is we're gonna get an ankle lock grip here, and then we're gonna pummel our leg inside and keep our toes on this side of his body, okay? So now this is gonna serve the purpose of, of off balancing him and, and uh, pushing his weight too far every time he tries to back step and drop his weight directly on top of us, all right? So let's look at the normal back step where he lands real quick. If I don't have uh, this in place and Connor back steps me, his weight drops, boom, right here, like right on my shoulder, like almost straight down, okay? It, it, it forces me to frame, it's, it's on me, so I'm slower to hip escape. It scrambles the whole position. So whenever I put my foot inside here, this is gonna allow me to push his weight away from me rather than falling directly on top of me. And the other thing that's gonna affect his back step is the ankle lock grip. Because if I have a grip on the pants, a lot of times he can bend this knee because he can put his foot a little bit further away and allow this leg, see how his, his shin is like almost parallel to the ground? This makes him really heavy and it allows him to drop his weight easier. But when I ankle lock, it kind of like cages his foot right in this position so his leg can't bend, like his knee can't bend and it forces him to go farther away. So these two things work together to kind of thwart his, his back step. So you can see now, if Connor were to back step, he's gonna, he's gonna feel really awkward doing it, but like go ahead and back step, Connor. See, I'm kicking in his belly, like I'm, like I'm extending here, and it just pushes his weight off, it deflects it and, and misdirects it somewhere else, okay? So this is a really useful tool for defending that really common attack. But also, this is a great setup for the ankle lock, okay? So I don't have to wait till he back steps. I can attack this myself, right? I can start to bring my leg inside and now I can start to make him kind of back step, right? What I'm gonna be doing is, is lifting his weight up more off to this side, like where he would be if he was back stepping. And then I can start to use my hand on his knee to open his leg sideways. This is a really nice detail actually Connor came up with. This is really nice. He started to uh, popularize this in our gym and we all started using it and you, you, it involves going here and dropping his hips out. Almost like you would do like a muscle sweep from the clothes guard where you start to bend their knee out and drive their hips this way. It's the same here, ex except instead of my hips, it's my hand. So I start to lift him up to the point where he's gonna start doing that like wacky inflatable tube man dance. And then I slowly start to misdirect his weight this way. Okay, so I'm going here, here. Once I drop his, his hips to the ground, I don't wanna stop here. I wanna drive this knee across his hip. You can see right here, like right here. Almost the same as if I was gonna do like the, the tilt sweep that I showed you guys earlier. Um, I'm gonna drive my shin across and my instep is gonna catch. And this is gonna allow me to A, come up on the sweep really easy if I need, and B, attack the belly down ankle lock, okay? So I just swept here. I use this opportunity to uh, choke up on the ankle lock grip, okay? So I'll hollow my body out and I'll pull myself down. So I'm choking up on this ankle lock grip and then I start to slide my shin across here, okay? So let's go from a, another angle. Uh, yeah, drop your butt to the ground. There you go. I'm just grabbing the, the same side collar like this. Okay, you can grab far side collar if you want. Same side works too. Um, I have this, the grips I had when I swept. I'm kind of pushing him away with, with this uh, shin and his hip. And I'm not creating a lot of friction on his leg. I'm hollowing myself out so that I can slide down and then relock before I go belly down. So I have a really tight grip. I don't need to adjust when I'm trying to actually put pressure on the joint, okay? So you're gonna see 
kind of hollow my body out. I'm extending and I can feel my forearm is right behind his ankle. And now I start to drive my shin across here. And I start to look away and I'm, I'm like widening, widening my knees, driving my hips down and looking away like this, okay? And I'm also like thinking about, it's like my back right here is what's pushing his, his toes down and folding it over my forearm, okay? So as I'm arching, I'm thinking about my back pushing right here. So I really need to like, kind of like do this kind of motion and drive my hips forward to raise this fulcrum here, okay? So I'm going, I'm hollowing out, making sure my forearm is right behind his uh, Achilles. Another trick you can use is you kind of look over your shoulder and if I can see Connor's toes, like right now I can see his toes, I'm not deep or I'm not uh, shallow enough, I guess, on the ankle lock, I'm not in the right position. So I need to hollow myself out. I can't see his toes. Now I know I can go. You start to get a, a feel for this when you do this a lot, uh, but just when you're beginning, this is a good like cue that you're in the right spot. So now I start to bring my knee through, drive my shin across, and now I'm thinking about using my back here, okay? My back is pushing. It's almost the same as a toe hold, except instead of using my hand, I'm using the back of my lap, like my shoulder, okay? So, You can also take slack out of the joint when they're still in the air. Like when you're extending them up, you can extend them up enough that their ankle comes out, you grab, and then right when they fall, you just belly down and kind of like rip it, like go for it, okay? So I'm here, I go inside. I'm going here, I'm thinking about turning. This is kind of how I'm gonna direct him. Or if he back steps, I'm just extending my foot at him to push him farther away, okay? We're not gonna run into the wall, right? Let's go this way, here. I'm going here. Look, I'm choking up on the grip. I'm already choked up on it. Yeah, I'm good. Drive my knee across. And I can start to attack the ankle lock here. Or say he's not tapping, or that you're in a situation where like he's not gonna tap. Maybe there's like a few seconds left and you just need to score. Keep your knee across because it's gonna allow you to push yourself back up into them and then underhook whatever they're trying to do, okay? Once I put my weight across this leg, it's like I'm, I'm forcing him to stay on bottom. Whereas if I try to ankle lock from here, like this, here, he's always gonna be able to like start to lift his hips from the floor, turn the other way, and I'm gonna be forced to play bottom still. So it's very important you drive that knee across and kind of like staple your weight across his hip while you're controlling his leg here. Even if you don't even wanna ankle lock, you just wanna sweep. And then you can slowly start to post yourself back into them. Even if they start hugging behind our back, it's no problem. Like you're always gonna have space here. Look, I dig, boom, and now I can start to knee cut, okay? One more time from this side. So he starts the back step, I go inside, I'm lifting, lifting, lifting. Driving across, look, I'm posting my far leg. Pushing back into him, and then I'm looking to face him again. Okay. So this one is a good setup for the ankle lock. It's also a really good answer for the back step. If you're going with somebody in your single leg X and you feel like they're just jumping all over you, I would really advise you start to put this in and attack this because this is going to be a, a strong answer for that. Okay. <laughs>